Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah with Precious Daughters and today I'm doing a grocery haul. And yes, I have done many a grocery haul videos, but this one's different. We're trying something new. In an attempt to get our monthly grocery budget down, I'm not even going to tell you how much it was last month because it was really embarrassing. So in an attempt to get it down, I am trying a method that Pennies to Pearl, Brittany over at Pennies to Pearls does. I'll link her channel below. I've been watching her for a little while. She is like the queen of a budget and of a meal plan. So I'm taking her method of how she does it and trying to see if we can get it to work to our family. So I did a four week monthly meal plan and I did two grocery shopping trips and they're gonna take us for the whole month. So I did one at Smith's and then I did one at Sam's Club. So instead of doing a weekly grocery haul, I'm going to be doing a month long grocery haul this time to see if I can bring that budget down. So let's go ahead and show you what I got and see if you like it. And also, do you like this? Yeah, because I'm a 31 year old woman who gets pimples. That's a thing. Okay, so let's get started on our um, Sam's grocery haul and then our, my Smith's ones will be right after that. Before I get started, I would like to say that this is a monthly long grocery haul, but I will be doing a weekly grocery haul real quick to get milk, fresh produce, and eggs and coffee creamer if we need it. Those are the three things that I'm making exceptions for. Everything else for a month's worth of dinners, lunches, um, breakfasts should be in this haul. So let's get started. Okay. So for the monthly haul for Smith's, this is what it looked like. Mostly this was canned goods. I'm going to be getting a lot of my fresh food and a lot of my um, meats and stuff from Sam's Club later today. But this is what I got last night, so I wanted to go through it with you quick. I got a thing of baby spring mix lettuce for some salads throughout the week. Um, I got a big thing of quinoa. I'm going to do this for chicken, or, um, chicken, rice, and vegetables. Do quinoa instead. And then I got a stir fry sauce for one night and a teriyaki sauce because I'm going to make um, a chicken fried rice bowl with cauliflower crumbles. I got another thing of peanut butter because you can never have enough peanut butter in a house with kids. I got some diced peaches for the girls. They seemed really like these last time. And then I was going to can my own peaches, but I think I may have missed the boat because when I went to go look for peaches last night at Smith's, they didn't really have any and they were like $1.79 a pound. So not really what I wanted to spend. So I got these just in case I've missed the boat. I got some um, low sugar brown, maple brown sugar um, oatmeal. This is uh, Weight Watchers approved. It's four points. I got some ricotta for a recipe. I'm going to be making lasagna one week. Coarse coffee. you got to have the coffee. Um, reduced fats, Ritz crackers. The girls seem to like those a lot, and they're a nice little treat. This was more of a splurge. The toasted chips. Not something I would normally get, but I thought it would be a nice little splurge to have. And then I got a thing of rotoni um, uh, noodles, and then a thing of elbow noodles. I'm going to be making... This is for my pasta bake that I make. It's really, really good. I'm actually going to make a thing of that tonight. And then this is for my um, goulash that I'm going to make one night. So that was really good. And then I got two packs of these rice cauliflower crumbles. So I'm going to be doing fried rice chicken fried rice with that and then these are the vegetables to go with the chicken fried rice I got three packets of the Spanish rice that goes inside of our taco bowls and then I got this jasmine ready rice this is gonna go on um, for the chicken stir-fry one night and then I got a, a thing of ranch because I'm going to be making a chicken bacon ranch casserole um, a Weight Watchers casserole that I found online. It looks really good. I like to do my quinoa with vegetable broth. It gives it a ton of flavor and it's just so good. So I bought four cans of that. I bought them in the cans because I can use a whole can for uh, one cup of quinoa and that way I'm not throwing out unused broth. I'm horrible about that. Sorry, my daughter's walking in the background with my husband's shoes on. Oh man. Um, I got some petite diced tomatoes. I'm going to be making a thing of chili one night and then another, one of my other recipes calls for it. I can't remember. Off the, I, the goulash. The goulash needed um, diced tomatoes. So for my turkey chili and for my diced tomatoes I got that. I got some green chili also for my turkey chili um, and for my goulash. I'm going to be like a Tex-Mex goulash. 
I've got some re refried restaurant low fat beans. These are really good because I've been having like, um, like a tostada for lunch. So it's like a flour. It's like a, I'm sorry. It's a corn shell with some refried beans and some reduced fat cheese, and it's just really good. I like it a lot. And for my taco bowls, I got some black beans, and then this is for my chili. I got some corn. Um, I got a thing of maple cured beans just because my girls really like beans and that's a good little protein source to have on the side. So yeah, this was a months long grocery haul for Smith's and then keep in, um, next scene I will probably be doing my Sam's Club grocery haul. Okay, so starting with dairy, I have a thing of coffee creamer because you guys know I love my coffee creamer, but I actually have more in my fridge, so this should take us a couple weeks. Um, I got two things of four cheese Mexican shredded cheese blend. They didn't have my old one, so I had to get with that one. One gallon of milk because I already have a gallon of milk in the fridge. More of these light Swiss Baby Bell cheeses. Um, I like these because they're on my Weight Watcher approved snack, and I can have two for like, I think three points, so not bad. Then we have our organic happy eggs, 18 of those. I got two things of ground turkey. I got two things of lunch meat. This one is smoked turkey, breast, and um, uncured apple smoked ham. So those two are really good. We, I like those a lot. Um, I got two things of chicken breast. Um, so this one was, I don't know if you can tell, but this one was almost seven, five pounds, and that one was almost five pounds as well. So I got 10 pounds of chicken breast. Um, I think I only paid 10 bucks for that. So that's good. I got a thing of Italian seasoning because I was out. Asian uh, stir fry vegetables. I'm not going to use the sauce that comes with this because it's full of sugar, but I did get another one. That I have in my um, that I have in my fridge, and I'll be using that one instead. But I'm still going to use the vegetables because they're amazing. Um, more protein bars for my husband. These are going to be the vegetables that we're going to be doing for our chicken, vegetable, and rice bowls that I make. They didn't have the broccoli Florentine bag this time, so I had to get the Normandy blend, which I wasn't too thrilled about. But what you going to do? And then. Uh, three pounds of bananas, two pounds of strawberries. I think strawberry season is coming to an end. That makes me a little sad. Moving over here, I got um, six pounds of gala apples, two big things of apple juice. This will definitely last us a month. Two things of bread. I have one in my freezer and one out on my shop, my cabinet right now, so that should last us a couple weeks. Then I got this organic marinara sauce. I haven't tried this brand before, but it looked pretty good. Um, and I have a couple of like uh, spaghetti dishes on my list. So yeah, hopefully that turns out pretty good. And then I got two things at Easy Mac. These were the um, single serving pouches. I haven't tried these ones before, but my kids love mac and cheese, but they won't eat it reheated. So if I make a one from the box and I try to reheat it for the next day, they won't eat it. So this saves us from wasting food as much as possible. And I got two of those for five bucks each, so not bad at all. And I also got a thing of 18 of my light and thick Greek yogurts. These are two points each. I love those. More applesauce pouches for my kids. They go through these pretty fast and they're great to have in my purse for snacks when we're on the go. For non-consumable goods. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's how you use it. Okay, all done. For non-consumable goods, I got a thing of hair and body wash, um, the Nature Well Baby for the girls, um, a thing of pull-ups, and a thing of diapers, and then I got a 35-pound bag of dog food. We have one in the back, but that's almost empty. This one's going to take us for the next month. And those, like four things, so those four things um, will take over our non-consumable budget, so that comes out of our household budget. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my grocery haul for this month, hopefully. I, like I said, I will be doing two or three smaller grocery hauls through the month to do a um, just a run real quick for milk and probably bread at least one time and then uh, fruits and vegetables. 
that we get fresh throughout the week. But I'm hoping to only spend about $25 to no more than $50 on those smaller shopping trips and then keeping these ones down. So I'll let you know like at the end of the month budget wise if we were able to save but we really needed to cut it down because for what we were spending for a family of four it could probably have feed, fed a family of like seven. So I think it's just like impulse shopping that gets the better of us. Um, so yeah, that's my video for the week. I hope you guys like it. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to like the video because it shows more up if people like it. And leave a comment below if you want to see something new or if you have questions about the content. Okay, guys, I'll catch you next week. Bye.